Hey besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be cooking for you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel to the new to the new family members, right? Um, my name is Shivane underscore Mrs. M. And um, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I hope you're gonna enjoy this this journey with me actually. Yeah. So today we are doing like a chit chat cook with me episode one like cooking with mischiefs guys i want to plug you with good recipes these ones these ones like if you have your like if you have you are married right and you cook these ones for your husband guys you know those people who say love portions love portions these 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 recipes are the ones guys guys you will tell me about it really so guys i just thought maybe <coughs> i should uh start like cooking with you like such that like my youtube uh channel is a boy like Jungoti, every time to get my vlog or something like that maybe like i'm with a cooking episode like sit down and um cooking so today is gonna be like a story time kind of vibe like talking then we cook together so what's on the menu today okay let me take my apron guys and then we continue so guys <coughs> what's on the menu today today we are <coughs> we are we are cooking pork chops um butternut squash and broccoli salad guys i'm so excited to be like sharing these recipes with you guys like you guys are not going to regret you guys are gonna please if you try this recipe right you should come on my instagram page and tell me ah, i tried this and that you know i really reply to my dms to my dms right? so i really want you guys to tell me if you tried the recipes because yeah and also guys thank you for 500 subscribers i have an announcement at the end of this video here i have a really i know you guys are going to be excited i have a good i have an announcement guys you guys are going to be excited about this maybe not all of you but you are going but thank you guys for 500 we are now on on a road to 600 subscribers and i know you guys can do it like you guys can do it i know i know and i believe in you you guys are my best friends and what are best friends for guys so we are i'm going to start with my pork chops i'm going to start marinating my my my, my pork chops first with you guys like showing you how i do my pork chops because my husband loves loves the pork chops that i make so i just want you guys so we're gonna marinate the, the pork chops then we just leave the marinade to like you know to to mix mix i mean just then to butter tank to check our butternuts then we do the butternut squash recipe i want you to try this button no we're doing the salad because i want the salad to be in the fridge yeah so this is dinner guys i'm doing dinner with you guys like so these are my pork chops right i'm gonna be cooking i'm gonna in fact i'm gonna put like i'm gonna be cooking three three pork chops i eat one he eats two so yeah because he's the man of the house you get in fact i just don't wanna eat i don't eat a lot of so how cute is this plastic guys how cute is it like i got these plastics from wars so guys i'm gonna be taking my um uh, my paper towel you just want to make sure the meat is like dry energy. you see there's garlic flakes guys i don't like like garlic yeah, yeah, yeah. garlic 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 because you know no it's a fish man but i don't like it so uh, i use this garlic flakes because but i know put you in on your sofa flavor like that like that but uh, guys i don't know if i'm the only one 
then next thing is i'm gonna put white pepper just a little bit next thing is i'm gonna put black pepper but i think i have like i have this black pepper and it's about to finish and it's my favorite name but when i get my shops i couldn't find like this type i found the powder one the ground yeah i found it, this one the ground black pepper you put your black pepper like we want that flavor right uh the other spice i'm gonna be using is oregano just put a little bit and add just a little bit then next i want you guys to put like a little bit of paprika a little bit of paprika is not bad then um there's something i'm forgetting to put so. then you put your oil in this a dish you put your oil you get me let me take my oil okay so me usually i cook with my sunflower oil but you can just put your delight or something or whatever you use don't put so much of it because pork here got in my food and can see you guys know You know this was supposed to be like a story time but i don't know what what should we even talk about guys what should we even talk about what should we even talk about it's like a story time yeah like i have a lot of stories to tell you guys a lot yeah salt let's put our salt just a little bit of salt taste candy then lastly do you know what i put i put sweet chili but don't put too much of it i just put some, like a little bit of sweet chili because this is like duo like ingredient in it or to show you like a little bit you know okay i'm done with this let me go wash my hands then yeah marinating our pork so i'm just gonna cover it cover it with uh, aluminium foil and with my kitchen scissors <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna just cut this up you're not gonna see the process <laughs> i think i really need like a, a proper travel skin here so guys yeah today right when i woke up in the morning I read this uh, book and that's why you send them. It's called Finding Me Eyes. Yo, I read that book and I was so emotional. Like it, like, like she gave me like a long time, like two weeks back, but I, I hadn't read it yet. So my husband was listening to this podcast. Then I said, you know that scenario, right? When you're in bed and it's in the morning, you're just like mungungo or something like that, and your partner and the other or something in the sound, and you don't wanna interrupt. The sound so i was like let me read this novel and he can listen to it to his podcast very nicely you know you know i'm that sweet i'm that sweet um wife yeah let's continue with the story time so yeah guys as i was saying i woke up today in the morning and i was like ah, let me read this novel guys like it reminded me of like way way back like when uh, Viola Davis was saying, Kutim, you know, <coughs> how she was treated when she was so young and stuff and stuff like that. So guys, we're now going to make the broccoli salad. Like the story time is going to continue, but I want to tell you the recipe of the salad. You should run. Let me put you here. I don't know. You guys should run to the shops and buy those ingredients. You guys should not even walk. You guys should run guys my tripod stand i don't know i need to buy a proper tripod stand honestly you guys should run not walk because this is my signature salad like <laughs> it reminds me when i was like uh, in not in rays but when i was renting every time i would cook the salad for my friends they'll be so happy like they'll be so so happy so even when i make the salad at home or like guys anyways fun fact is if I make the salad and you are my visitor, 
if you don't ask me for the recipe, if you don't ask me for the ingredients, then you are a hater. Like you are a, you are a hater. Because this salad, this salad is the one. This is the salad you've been looking for, for the, all your life. If you don't like salad, try this one. Because this is the salad you've been look. I don't know, searching for. Please, stop that. You know the, you know the, uh, the cabbage and carrots. No. This is the salad. Do you know what? Broccoli is go is starting to taste like sweeter. Like we, we want broccoli to start tasting sweeter and nicer. If you hate broccoli, you have to go and look for broccoli. There, these are in the ingredients. So here we go. You have to go look for the broccoli, your apples, your cheddar cheese, and your mayonnaise. Then that's it. Then just sprinkle some black pepper for the you know for the for the so let's go and i continue with my story time as i cut the ingredients let me show you the ingredients because i want to continue with my story time then i show you the end product so i don't have a lot of broccoli like this are the oh the broccoli that i have so i'm gonna use this i'm also gonna use two apples and I don't have like uh, cheddar cheese, that one you can cut into boxes, but that would be nicer. I have this, the pamela and this one, this one. So I'm just gonna use this one anyway because my husband loves the salad like really like. <laughs> the whole love portion here yeah, too guys. This is the love portion. So yeah, I was saying, so I'm now cutting my broccoli. So I will show you when I'm done cutting it, how I cut it. So guys, I woke up in the morning and I was reading Viola Davis's novel, right? And then it really took me back. Like it really took me back, right? It really took me back. And I was like, I think like Viola Davis said, like I name Ari an eight-year-old child, right? Uh people would call her that she is ugly and she got she would get bullied and things like that. I know guys, like for the people who are who talk to me like like who talk to me on whatsapp i have talked about this on my whatsapp and i know maybe it might be annoying for you for me to talk about this but then i just wanted to talk about this because it actually came when somebody asked me like i think my school zangawa da or something like that and they said ah i'm getting bullied at school and i don't want to go back to school like school i don't want to go back to school i get bullied at school and i was like oh my goodness why is this child telling me this because actually i'm one of the people who got bullied in high school let me tell you something not even in high school g i think ever since primary but then in primary i was still young and very young and naive and you wouldn't even see it a lot 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 like that a lot 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 but i was bullied in high school and i remember it vividly like a uh, viola davis was like you know what i don't i i used to not want to think about um about the young army let me show you how it looks like now yeah just make sure Kungoti. They look like this, G. All of them, like just separate the broccoli. Then I'm putting them in this. Auntie. So then she said, I always silence this, this, this young version of me, and I'll be like, ah, uh, no. And I'll be like, I don't want, I don't want it anymore. She get it. But little did, did she know. Little did she know that the, the younger version of her, no Akatomo Guma, to be what she is right now. Do you get that? So, really, this really ties me because the younger me, right, never thought I could be, I could be like this now. Because, guys, as I said before, right, I came from humble beginnings. Now I'm cutting the apples. I'll show you when I'm done. I came from humble beginnings, right? So, um, when I was like in primary, I used to, I used to, like I used to walk door by door after school, like when I was in primary school, after school, like selling my mom's things. 
those days like my mom was not even i can't say my mom is rich now she's not okay but back then guys my mom might think it's like things like you know when someone is actually taking it's like small things like my shape it's all I would think it's like fish like it was like my goal as a child to come back home and I know what the often I would think it's like because my mom needs this money because I would walk door by door with my dish on top you just think it's like door by door like you guys think I'm lying but I'm telling the truth guys that was the younger version of me but then like I don't even regret it guys because that would make me so happy like that would make me so happy and the, I still remember one of uh, the ladies I got up my Kumarai quite I got saying my name is Ben my name is Ben my name is Ben my name is Ben my name she get it <laughs> but you know it would make me so happy like to sell things for my mom and things like that because I would understand what she is going through and how she needs that man because actually yeah now let me go back to the primary school thing actually my mom used to uh sent me to a very good primary school you know it's good primary school that's where i learned right it's, it's it was a very good i don't know about now but it was a very good school by then like compared to but their parents couldn't even afford right so but then you know where the problem was do you know where the problem was the problem was the lunch box i understood my parents had nothing right but you know no and stuff like that and your your mom would put like um just bought her a casket and people have those you know those juice bottles the nigga can't see you know, you know those just those, those fancy ones, and you only go in your quick casket. Then you have to, guys. It was a lot, and I used to walk back from school with my, with my friend, with this other friend of mine. Today I woke up in the morning and I just said to her, Ah, you remember those days we used to walk back from school, and like we just didn't care about other kids because guys it was it was our life and we, we enjoyed those days like honestly speaking there were the hard days in my life but i enjoyed and i embraced it but one thing i knew i wanted uh, is i wanted to be better than who i am fast forward i went also what i faced nj I first like you know put a good primary school maybe it was me and maybe i'm delusional guys Uruku primary you know like my teachers they used to favor kids that came come from and they wouldn't even look when they moon has got a my teacher my kids like i don't know if it's richard because like, you know what as a kid teachers don't know but you know people like a loss of esteem because you're like ah, i can't do this to my teacher you know things like that so done cutting the um, the apples so i'm gonna mix the apples and the broccoli in the same way yeah so then so that's not gonna be some water that's how teachers are you know so next thing i'm gonna put i love this cheese from always i don't like this tamala this one tastes so nice i just use it the chair that she's gonna have at your house. I should not show Roma because that's not going out to people who don't stand with my kids. Well, fast forward, guys, I went to uh, is it high school or secondary? Secondary school, one? yeah, secondary school, one to four. And I I went to, to the second half high school. I just thought I should share the story with someone because it might just motivate you. You will see where I'm going with the story. So <clears throat> I went to Sandringham High School. To be honest, it was very nice. Like I met this amazing human being. Like did it form two? That's when I, I was a pre I, I, I was a prefect. I was chosen to be a prefect to form two. Like it was just the two of us with this girl i don't want to mention names guys people might get offended or might not even like it but that girl that girl was the love of my life like 
I mean, that girl was the one. Like, she made my high school day, my secondary day so nice. Like, J. Mm. So, we were chosen to do two in any let this girl. Because it's my prefect. And I was like, you know, till this day, I don't know why I was chosen to be a prefect at home, too. Like, they just needed two girls and two boys, best room. Till this day, guys, I don't know. Like, the people, I was so shocked. I don't, I don't know which criteria they used actually. I don't know, but they so shocked and that at all. Ah, this and that. So, but secondary school, I never really first bowling. You get it? I said primary, I faced bowling. Like, I really faced bowling in primary school. But it was like low key because in the primary, I made sure and go to Benevano, Masiri Molain, ma'am. Do you get it? Because I knew what he, like, you know, when we are kids, we are mean as kids to each other. So I understood and I'm like, whatever, whatever. Then when I was now in high school, that's when I faced the bowling. Like, guys, I just want to help somebody right out there, but in life, if you are facing bowling, if you are being bullied, even at work, guys, you guys think what bullying in ethical primary or which school, but even at work, bullying happens. And try by all means, try by all means to, I think, to inside the apples are inside and the broccoli. Yeah. So the next thing is, I'm gonna put my mayonnaise inside, then I'm gonna sprinkle black pepper and then I put it in. Also guys, I think um, my pork ribs are ready. I'm now gonna put them in the oven and yeah, as I cut my bananas and make them ready. Yeah, so that's the meal for today, yeah. So let's put the, uh, the pork chops in the oven. I have a lot of things here, you. She and hectic. Thanks for hectic. speaking i really want to thank my parents because my parents really tried she really tried to make sure which girl i had everything that woman is a strong woman like she deserves the world and more and more and more and more and more and more guys so i was like thinking did you really guys that novel is called finding me guys it's called finding me and i was like you know, you try to forget that little girl, but honestly speaking, that little girl, when I look at her, I'm so proud of that little girl. I'm so proud of her, honestly speaking, because who thought, because right now I'm standing in my own house. I'm married. I, guys, I did my dream wedding. Like, that was my dream wedding. I'm married. Guys, you know, these days I'm like, my mom when she calls, right? And I'll be cooking downstairs and and she'll be like, ah, Mofo wanna cook, Chichi. And I'll be like, just to flex, and yeah, I'll be like, ah, he's upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who knew? I'll be living in Santon. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? All those people who bullied me, who knew? Because I almost lost confidence, but Little did they know that the moment I got bullied is the moment I say to myself, no, maybe there's something big that is within me that makes people bully me, Jay. Because why? Why are they bullying me? Why are they bullying me? Because I was bullied in high school, guys. Left, right, center. Honestly speaking, I have forgiven them. Like, I have forgiven those people, like, genuinely. So guys, now I'm cutting my butternut. This is the butternut. I'm only cooking one of this. Yeah. So I'm cooking my butternut and I'll show you the recipe. 
yeah let's continue with the story time so guys <clears throat> as i was saying um you know i got bullied to the extent that um i had no friend like i had one friend in high school at some point in time like you know high school it was so funny because like when you're somebody are you bullied nobody really wants to play with you because no like things that are not even important they're not important guys i worked hard i worked hard and i knew kuti all i needed was work hard like and shockingly Lower six, I was also chosen because I, I had moved Nandak to Zaku centering up. Now I was learning at Roosevelt. That was high. And I was a god there. Right. Lower six, back to Chagoma Prefect, and I was part of the prefect. And I'm like, maybe there's something in me. Like, you know, that's when I started believing in myself. Like, you know, Guti, really, there was a time where my results can happen to say, like, I would shiver or I would cry. Like, I'm a very emotional person, right? That I would cry. And some people would misinterpret, like, family members would misinterpret Guti. She's crying, maybe because, like, some of my cousins are like, I pass guys. It was never that. Because I'm never, I was never a competitive person with anybody or anyone. Oh, I wanted, I wanted a better life for my parents. Nj, nj, not that I want, not even cry because I was like, I hope what I want is what's on the results. Nj, that was the reason. Like, I was such a person who wanted to change the life. And you know, I'm so happy that I found my husband. Like, I want to be, like, this guy, you still remember last time when I was saying, Kuti, this guy, that I was free to tell him anything. He was one of the people I told about everything I went through. And he is healing me. Like, I know I haven't healed fully, but he is healing me. You guys, I'm such a lover girl. Like, I love people. Like, when I love someone, I love someone. But then when I feel like some type of way about you, I try, try by all means to, like, keep a distance. Because... I don't want like situation of just people like even adults nowadays they bully you like i don't want a situation in which we are now in awkward spaces and you are trying to bully me right and i really have like good friends come on i really have good friends and i have one of my friends and then they came like <sighs> she's such a good person and the only only did my friends know that every time we hang out they're healing me like she's that girl like she's that girl guys she is that girl like <coughs> this girl really helps me with something like the other but the snowball you know the finding me if you really want the snowball guys girl, you should come to my inbox like to my dm by instagram then i give you the novel because it's a soft copy right so you where were in your life you might be facing bad things or you might be looking by internet and seeing everyone's life is popping and yours is not don't even say ah but you gone one she been one your life is figured out everything like i had this other person say yo you are at least your life is always figured out they don't know where i came from like i came from the darkest places you would ever want to know like you would never want to know honestly you would ever want to know actually and it but then I, I i embrace those moments and i say they made me guys look at me glowing in my house right now you know i'm such an emotional person so guys i really want to assure you if you're going through the darker phases or you never walked my stage you would see we were poor kudara and now, now my mom has her own house, guys. A big house, not like in a house. Not in a house. Not, I mean, not in, even in the high density suburbs. You get it? Now she drives the car she wants. Nji. The life is good. I can't, I, I can't believe it. Like, I really can't believe it. Because God is so good. My mom and dad were so strong for me, actually. They were so, 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 so strong. And I really, and you know, my parents never know, knew what I got bullied. I was such a strong girl. Like, I didn't even want to stress my mom. Imagine, I can't be home without 10 guests. I can't be home. Okay, 
ke mashebet or ke madomas or kechi but it's a jam all i have to do is trust my mom oh mommy i'm getting bullied i never was that i mean i'm such a strong person to the extent you're good in. when i face things i never tell anyone i deal with things deep right i don't want to stress anybody i deal with if i tell someone that thing it means maybe chatos on the shungurus are like that so i used to enjoy everything about my little sister name because you know these these kids are like, poor life okay my little sister can call can I go boarding time school anytime mommy this happened this and that but i'm so proud of her because at least she's somebody who are open and tells us what's wrong and what's going on in my life maggie and i actually help her with some things too. but that one uh, that one would never get bullied that one that one is a strong girl <laughs> she is a strong girl but I, I have to know that even if things are not happening for you now, they are going to happen for you later on in life. Things don't happen at the same time. You might find your, your other mates are getting married. You are not. You don't even have a boyfriend to start with. You are facing like, and other people maybe a passing school and you watch all you have to do is keep pushing work hard change your situation that's what i'm gonna tell you you have to change the situation at your house so we have our butternut this recipe needs three ingredients butternut sugar i'm using brown sugar let me see brown sugar yeah sugar and melted butter my melted butter is in here but let me show you the butter i used okay. so i used stock stock margarine yeah so what you're gonna do is we are gonna pour our melted butter in this jar exactly like this mm -hmm. after that we are gonna put sugar like just put like I don't know this is like for somebody who has a sweet tooth but it's, it won't be that sweet guys it won't be that sweet i think if you put like two teaspoons i think you should just like taste it as you go you get it then try mix it oh sorry then you mix 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 this is the only thing you need. just put a pinch of salt like you know sugar and salt doesn't we have to be just a little bit because the sugar is gonna give the bananas to taste just a little bit of it i know you guys have been eating butternut all this time but this is the recipe please cook this recipe for your boyfriend no not boyfriends we don't want anyone who is not married to be cooking for their boyfriends here okay do you hear me <laughs> don't do wifey duties when you're still a girlfriend Mm -hmm. But then, anyways, cook this and show him that I know I'm wifey material to get it. So let's continue, right? So I really want to tell somebody, right? The Kuti. In any, I'm someone who used to not. In any, Ramona, I think maybe you know that thing, Yakuti, he had people heard, heard people. Maybe I have heard somebody in my process of healing because in any, I'm such, like somebody came to me and said, ah, I heard you said you are in psycho an insecure person but you're so beautiful i'm like do you know what insecurity doesn't come with beauty there are so many beautiful people out there that are told that they are beautiful but they're actually also insecure and you're like why is this honey insecure they're so pretty but then maybe it comes from childhood trauma like bullying things like that you know things like that so i want you today to know that your time is gonna come Today might be a dark phase for you. Today might be something that you're like, oh, I regret you on social media. You have pressure and you're like, I don't even get a serious boyfriend. I don't even get this. Or maybe you're like, my family situation is bad or somebody is very sick in your family. Just know what this stage in your life is going to teach you something. Okay. Everything is going to be okay. You are going to live in answered prayer so guys i'm gonna be prepping the tray i'm gonna be putting my butternut and then you put the butternut in the oven like please hire somebody else right now that you your things will be figured out one day you shall go 
we all went through all that. Some people might be for social media that is so great. They also face their own things. I know that some people are like maybe can't relate because they came from like well our families, they haven't faced any challenges in their lives. But I just want to say when you face those things, there's no good things. Just no way to get life or trials just to make you strong. You see, when you read that uh, novel that say finding me, they say like like strong people come from hard times actually there's a statement that violet violet davis wrote I was like, you know in the morning like i woke up and I, I i was like you know i used to like shy away that little girl like she was saying kuti airo wa like never know like after school like never go to school after school right and she would start running and every time she thinks about it she she says and i wish i could say to that little girl stop running you get it and i i think i was that person that little girl that him but i move visa man did i know that's not me no this and that but you know what that little girl is me you get it. i think that finding me finding me guys i actually found me that's all i want to say guys so i want you also to find yourself you should remember that um invite mr m and read this <laughs> i know that's right but this new you have to try you have to try this guys you really have to try even one of these if you try one of these please send me a picture in my dm or just tell me mm, i like the broccoli salad i love the butternut i have many ways to like to cook banana squash actually this is for the one of people when a sweet tooth. Then can also in a sweet tooth. Don't try this one. I will tell you about the other one next time. This is episode one, guys. It's just for us chatting and like reconnecting and you guys just getting to know Minji. Because some people really think like I have like Nakangotanga my life really well figured out because some of the, the people are my followers. No guys. You guys are going to get to know me more later on as we continue with this YouTube thing. To bake them in the oven after my pork chops are ready. So let, let, let's just talk guys. So even can you share about or something or is job related or you are getting bullied, be strong. I want you to be strong. Don't lose because I think people lose confidence when they get bullied because you know when you get bullied right people can bully you even when you from your parents and things like that especially in high school those things people don't know but maybe they are, they are wounds that you are still carrying like abu dad that haven't been healed from you that's why when every time when i hear somebody or anyone and i would try to do kangani in my life or who says bad about me i try by all means to like distance like distance is like the greatest thing I do from people, like I distance myself from people. Then, as time goes on, I can. I, I, then we can continue talking. But then, and really, like I, I don't like. I'm a lover. I, I, I really believe in loving people, and Jay. I love people. But then, one thing about me, I don't trust people. Like I love people, but I don't trust people. Like I have big trust issues with people. Like. Honestly speaking, I think that's one of my traits and it I think it came from bullying because I lost some people My friends like some of my friends the face and kind of bullying so I just No, people you love so much can just Can just go when they see what mm -mm, this person is no longer my class or something like that. So I I don't I love people but If every time I feel like a human being is trying to bully me I try by all means. I can love you from the a, a, a distance. It's good. Or I just keep quiet. Guys, because I, I safeguard this heart or this little girl with all that I have got. With all that I have got. I don't want that little girl hurt anymore. I want to be happy because I found the man of my dreams. Like, this man is making me happy. Ah, sorry. Like, can't you see the skin is glowing? like a pair guys what more do you want and i'm at my happiest like 
you can't tell me otherwise i'm at my happiest i'm living the life that i always dreamt of so nobody can tell me otherwise so i want to tell you one thing don't let anybody bully you don't even and if you can tell your parents about it tell you I mean, that's one thing i never did i never told my parents because i didn't want to burden them like why would i burden people who are also struggling for me to go to school why would i even tell them i would face my struggles and and i was a conqueror actually because i faced my own things guys and i would say and you know what like people would bully me right and i would smile like i would smile <laughs> and guys <laughs> this, is, this, this, this other girl in high school would be like guys i would smile i don't know why i would smile though like i've i've always been a smiling person yeah actually i've always been a smiling person like i always smile like i would smile like i would be hurt but i would smile one thing about me i'll smile if i'm hurt i might smile at you or i might cry but i don't like crying like in front of people like don't ever cry in front of people like it gives them power don't do that we don't want crying people we want strong girls here you get me you feel me because i want all of you besties i want strong best friends like me but also guys the announcement is i'm doing a, a giveaway at 1000 subscribers i don't know guys what should i give away should i give away like money like money then mono so change i know that but i noticed like in the 95 percent here girls here and five percent of boys so i was thinking of buying like like doing a hamper like no winners are like one two should two people win guys yeah i i, I give away a zara handbag and like a makeup kit scarlet hill makeup you should follow km she's a brand, brand ambassador yes yes yeah, scarlet hill makeup they, I'm going to be giving away like like maybe makeup products like makeup brushes, um, foundation or something like that. Like I'll put a cute little hand. Like I'm thinking, what should I do? Or oh, I should just give people money. What should I do? Like at one thousand sub. And I don't know the conditions, guys. You should help me out with this one. How should people win? Who should win? Like the people who comment more, or oh, the people who refers more people to me like somebody should come and say oh i love your channel then get referred me to you like what do you think i think that's a good way like i would we will talk in the next one then i can also tell you what are the conditions we are on a road to 600 subscribers yeah i know we'll reach the and thank you guys uh, for showing me some love and comment i really love to hear from you guys like when you comment it makes my heart full and and this is munano vira guys when you come to my dm and you want to ask something i will respond to you if you want to ask anything come to my dm and i will really respond to you guys i'm such a lover girl like i love love people like in g so yeah that was just it about this video i'll show you guys when the food is ready and morphe will be rating the food out of 10 i love you guys to the most this part of my house i haven't gone upstairs with you so it's a chance when i do my bedroom i'm gonna show you guys when i do my guest bedrooms i'm gonna show when i do the office i'm gonna show you guys so you guys should subscribe to my channel because i know you guys want to see all those things exactly exactly besties i love you you know youtube makes me so happy because i now have best friends to vent to <laughs> i'm screaming <laughs> so yeah i think my pork is ready i, re I really think so i really think so okay guys i just finished cooking and i'm going to set up my table now now so yeah stay tuned besties this is our two plates we usually eat in the same place but just because of this video i'm gonna show any two more place then we eat in the same plate you get that so guys let me put my table runner
Okay, now rate the me out of 10. 10 out of 10, man. I'm snapping. <laughs> no, which one is your favorite? Uh, it's the salad and the, uh, the butternut. And the butternut. Okay. But the pork is obvious. It's obvious. It's your favorite. It's becoming my favorite. Okay. All right, you heard him yourself, guys. So cook your husband good meals. What do you want to say to my channel? Thank you very much for 500 subscribers and your support. Thank you so much. Yeah, for supporting, liking, subscribing, and commenting.